Hey, first time out in Flamingo? Yes, sir. Had to throw on the fit. Bomb, bomb. Come on now. Got it. Got there. Yo. King Snook right there. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a lot. It's ultrasound time. You ready for this kid? Yeah. I'm excited. There's only two more months until my baby is here. Uh, my wife and I are expecting a baby boy right around July 11th. That's the due date. So uh, fingers crossed everything continues to go smoothly. But I cannot wait to be raising another little fisherman in this world. You know, teaching them how to do things the right way. Not just in fishing, just in life in general. You know, because this world's gotten a little bit crazy as of recently. But with that being said, you know, I had my buddy David hop on the boat with me. Back in the day, we used to work in the studio. I worked with local Miami rappers and stuff. So we're going way, way back. <laughs> Check out this flashback. Serious business, we make a serious move. Rep, rep, yo city. Rep, rep, yo city. Rep, yo city. Go, yo, go, yo. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today we are deep in Flamingo doing some backcountry fishing. Got my homie David, blast from the past, on the boat with me. So you're going to see him fishing a little bit today, too. Uh, and we're going to target, first off, you know me, I like snook. Hopefully I can get on some tarpon today if, uh, if I can find them. But I think he wants a redfish. So if we can get a redfish, we're going to go for that as well. If you like fishing in the outdoors, hit subscribe, turn that notification bell on right now because you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me. This leads to another back lake. If it's deep enough, you can get into the back, like the, the west side of Lake Ingraham. Okay. Um, but you got to be able to get skinny. I can get pretty skinny, but I don't know about skinny enough. Snook, first fish of the day. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. That's how you start it off. Whoop, whoop. Get him up. Let's go. Nice. Nice, Snooky. He inhaled it too, huh? That boy was hungry. Oh, catfish, don't get poked. We're not gonna tell everyone that you just caught a catfish. All right, boys and girls, we are out here in Flamingo, Florida. I already got a friendly little neighborhood crocodile over here. Current is pushing in. It is incoming tide. So that only means one thing. Fish. So Flamingo is about an hour and a half to two hour drive, depending on the traffic from my house to get to the dock. When you're out there, it's another world. You got You've got no cell signal and you're just out in the Everglades. It's tranquil, it's beautiful, and it's relaxing. So I love to get out to Flamingo every opportunity that I have um, just to get on some fish or even just to be out there because sometimes just being out there is therapy within itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda go with the current in all the way to the back. In the backside, there's some really shallow flats that I can't get the boat up, but you can cast up there. And uh, you might get some snook and uh, redfish. So hopefully you can get a redfish today. Oops, I just hit my own boat. Can't get any closer to the mangroves than that. Damn, I, I'm good. It's a nice snook. See, catching some fish today. Here, bring them here. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Now, let's show him off to the camera. Yeah. Can Flamingo, you see this? we out here. Flamingo, baby. Three for three. There we go. Oh, look. You got a mang? I got the mang, bro. Fourth catch. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen. But he got some snook. Another yeah, snook, baby. baby. Yeah. 
on artificial. So artificial, hey, they be killing it. I told you that lure is that lure is the the, the truth, man. Look at this, baby. So from here, you you gonna go back to where, how we came from? Yeah, we'll go out to that flat, straight out. Yeah, and then but you stay right outside the channel, right? Yeah, well, there's a little there's a little shoal there, so I want to go it where it drops from a few feet to like four feet. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. And if we cruise that area, mm -hmm. we'll get some sea trout. There's one point over here that I want to get revenge. Revenge fishing, huh? Yeah. All right, this is my spot right up here. Revenge. Saw that roll? Yeah. My revenge. First nook of the day. Let me hit anchor right here. Ah, this is right where I said I was gonna catch a snook. Caught a snook. My revenge spot. Look, you see how it's shallow in the middle? It drops on each side, right? So let's just kind of cast in there a little bit and see see what we can get. I'm not allowed because I don't. It's this salt water. I can't do salt water charters. Oh shit! Just peacock bass. So you have to get the license and all that shit. Yeah. Oh shit! Fucking crocodile. No, I went right over his back of his neck. At least I didn't go in a tree. So we slid in to uh, this creek um, that was shown to me by the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle. So big shout out to those guys. You know, they're a big sponsor of the show and they show me a lot of love and support. So uh, big shout out to Real Hooker Bait and Tackle. But I went through this creek and I got towards the end. I wanted to try and get David on some reds, but I ended up in about a foot of water. When it's high tide, everything's underwater. Now I can see where I don't want to go 100% and I know that it's a flat and I can't get over it and all that. But it was just getting a little too skinny for my liking and uh, I don't have a push pole so I didn't want to get stuck. So I ended up turning around coming back out through the front of the, uh, the channel to go try and catch some trout. Oh me too. Sea trout, Ugh. little guy. Trout slayer. trout slayer, bro. Let it sink down and then just pop, 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 pop. I know there's another bigger one in there somewhere. Oh, I'm on again. Bigger one. Here's your keeper. Oh, nice. The sea trout. Nice. Kobe, are you gonna put it in the bag? Yeah. Here you go. What are you using for the trout? Lure. The, this year's right here. Yeah, the paddle tail. So I'm gonna actually turn around, see if we have a few more. But I think the flat is on this side of us. So they're hitting over that little shallow right there. This, good? this one? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm using. Not a little one, not a keeper, but they're here. Got it. Come on. Another trout. Another one. Still a little guy. Well, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. We got the baby boy on the way. We got some fish in action. And that is it. You know, 
Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your notification bells on. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok and even Facebook. If you'd like to buy some hats, Florida hats, you know, I got some back here as well, different colors. I got the camo. So check out ceofishing.com to buy yours today, or you can buy it directly on Instagram through my Instagram shop. Until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.